So one of the things I love about San Diego Comic-Con isn't just like new reveals, but it's the history that's here. I'm over here at Varner Studios. Uh, just got done chatting with Steve Varner. They've always got an amazing display of prototypes here. And if you guys don't know, Varner Studios specifically were behind the original Ninja Turtles line. Like these are the guys sculpting this stuff for Playmates. Um, and they've got some really amazing things always on display here. And I just wanted to shoot this and document it and show it to you guys. You can see some of the sports balls. These are like hand painted. Look at these. Look at that Mikey. One of my favorite rafts back there too. They also did the 2012 Turtles. So this is the actual original hand painted prototype for Leonardo for the 2012 line. Look at the paint on that. Look at how good that looks hand painted. The eyes on there. It is absolutely amazing. I love the way that looks. Really incredible stuff. Over here on the side, we got our Jim Lee Michelangelo. I know they usually have uh, the Leo on display here too. Where's your, uh, is Jim Lee Leo around? You usually bring no, him out, right? I don't think, I don't think we do. Yeah, no. I think we just ran out of the place this time. Oh, yeah? We didn't really pack enough stuff. You know, Howard's the one that did all the, most of the drawings in the book. Oh, it's really? Like, yeah. Very cool. So, yeah, he started working for with us when he was like 19, no, 18. Yeah. Yeah, now he and I are a little older. Yeah. A little older now. A little older yeah, now. Little so, would you um tell me about like because the first turtle on display over here too, and I heard you kind of telling the story a little bit ago. Yeah. Would you mind like kind of telling that story yeah, well, again? You know, they uh, they came to me with the black and white comic book in 1986, and you know said they loved the storyline. They bought the license, and they just you know needed uh, some better artwork, so they just let me do whatever I wanted. Um, it was John Handy at that, at that point that had gotten in touch with me. And um, I did that clay sketch. We, and literally, the only thing that was changed from that was the tail was removed. Yeah. Other than that, it was pretty much the same. Yeah. That never happened. That's amazing. And then yeah. this just developed yeah, into this developed. amazing toy line that... But, you know, that's what happens sometimes when they just let the artist... You know, do what they want. Oh, I love that. That's you're totally right. You're totally and, right. And it, the same thing happened with with like all of these drawings and stuff too, because they would come to us and they would let us just do kind of what we wanted for the most part. Yeah, and there was some direction, but not a lot. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, this is the Varner Studios book. This is still available, right? That people yeah. can purchase this. Mm -hmm. If you don't have this already, I would highly recommend picking it up. It's filled with these amazing sketches. That helped create this vintage line that we all love so much. Oh man, we got these hand painted versions of the movie star turtles over here. Look, there's movie star Raph, movie star Leo's back there. Also, I love this. This is great. I, I would imagine that this was some sort of a display for a toy fair or something like that. But those movie star turtles look so great with that hand paint job. We have another case over here, too, in the front, just to show you guys all these amazing original prototypes. Space Usagi. This is for the uh, Mutations April right there. It's really great. The uh, Movie 3 stuff, Foot Soldier. Oh, look at that. There's Trek Donatello. There's our Trek Leo. Gosh. This stuff just gets me so excited. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love seeing this stuff in person. I love the history of all these toy lines that we love so much. All these toy lines that made us fans, right? Like, this is why we're still so into this stuff today. And these are the artists that created these beautiful pieces. Amazing stuff. So, really cool thing to see here at Comic-Con. Very special thanks to Steve Varner and Varner Studios for chatting with me a little bit. And let me film all of this stuff to share with you guys. I hope you all appreciate it. Thank you all so very much for watching. Till next time, my friends. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic Con 2023. Follow Pixel Dan on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Or you can support the channel through Patreon and unlock other exclusive content. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys with Pixel Dan. See you again.